Louisiana Beer Reviews, Seagram's Escapes Cocktails, Strawberry Margarita, Premium Flavored Malt Beverage, 100 calories, 5% alcohol. I don't like this label design because it's red writing on a red background, so I'm not in love with that, but um, it's just a, I guess you would say a, a mistake. 5% alcohol, but only 100 calories. Natural flavors, FD&C red number 10 and FD&C yellow number 6. So I'm, and it's made in New York. The state of New York, not New York City. Rochester, New York. So um, I'm thinking they're using some kind of fla uh, sweetener like stevia or something. It says natural, so it doesn't taste like sugar. And that's the thing that put me off with the other three. Not that they were like poorly made or they were totally nasty. It's a personal preference thing. I don't like those uh, sugar substitutes. Okay, first. <laughs> I can see that this glass is exactly 12 ounces. So there was no room for error there. No head of foam, no lacing, a lot of racing bubbles. And you got the red from the food coloring. Now, it says, let's see, flavored beer. That's your legal disclosure, flavored beer. Natural flavors. Now, it doesn't say natural strawberry flavor, which would have to come from strawberries. It just says natural flavor of some sort. Oh well, wasn't the best price in the world or anything like that, but um, I guess you'll start seeing people reviewing these. Okay, the aroma first. <laughs> There's really not... I'm not picking up a lot of aroma at all. Actually, I'm, I'm not picking up any aroma. I know that seems strange, like it should have a strawberry smell or something, but maybe there's like an acidic smell in the can. Strawberries are more acidic than sweet. Well, anyway, let's go with the taste. Strawberry margarita. They're probably using some agave nectar or agave dehydrated whatever because it does have that tequila agave thing. It has tart strawberries, strawberry flavor. I mean, I'm not saying they're not using like strawberry puree or most likely these are dehydrated powder you know pulverized like powder and they dump it in um i'm saying i can't say that they're using it they, it's tasting like strawberry though body is light watery as you would expect five percent though um kind of dry finish This was made where they make Genesee beer. At it, and if you go to the brewery, it says Genesee. That's their tr marquee brand. Um, but it's really owned by a company called Fifeco. F-I-F-C-O USA. Fifeco USA. And um, Genesee is part of it. The major part of it, of course. But the, it's part of it. The other part is um, the Seagram Beverage Company. And they also have Pyramid, which is like a craft style line. Uh, they do a lot of contract brewing. They do Labatt, Blue Ice, Labatt um, Ice for the U.S. market. Labatt Light, I think, for the U.S. market. Uh, but, I mean, it's uh, not owned by anheuser Bush InBev, just a contract. Um, you can check Fifco USA. They'll give you a whole rundown of everything they have. 
but I'll just link to the Seagram Beverage Company because um, that's where this is going to be found. They mentioned this on the website, just say part of the new cocktails, um, but they didn't really give too much information, just like, a, I don't know, like the taste of strawberry or pineapples, a burst of lemon, and so, so forth, but nothing too detailed. Uh, video reviews, there may be some already, I don't know, there won't be many at this point. Um, written reviews would be minimal. All right, so what do I think about it? Uh, I say all the time I don't really care for flavored beers, and I'm reviewing them left and right, but I'm re I, it's true, I really don't care for these kind of things. Um, <clears throat> but I knew I wouldn't be able to find a single, I just knew, I said I'm not going to find a single. Matherns had the 12-pack. No one else has had it yet. Why? I don't know why. Okay, so Matherns even started their own section of these flavored beer, beer concoctions. <laughs> and they mixed in some flavored spirit RTD things too, like from Hornitos. They all similar, you know, I mean, some are liquor based, some are malt based, but they're similar in their flavor. Um, If they were using real sugar, I would prefer it. I don't think that I have no evidence that they aren't except from the taste empirical evidence and I'm not tasting sugar I'm tasting like that substitute which is why it's probably getting a hundred coming in at 100 calories I mean it's okay and Isaac Bush came out with some of these recently uh, but they're not five percent and they're called seltzers but they're that's a type of flavored beer as well but that could be made from sugar instead of malt Hey, you like that beer from cane sugar? Well, that's true. Um, what did I give the other two, three? Uh, the grapefruit, the pineapple, and the lemonade. I don't remember. I, I thought that I had mixed feelings about all of them. Um, if you like the flavorings, fine. Now, if you are a person that is uh, favorable towards... Um, the stevia or the I, I want to say like neutral sweet or equal but I don't think they can use that and call it natural uh -uh. but these kind of things which I can't stand you'll probably like it uh, if they were using real sugar yeah I'd like it more I mean they did the Seagram's no <laughs> well they do it those the Seagram's escapes spiked and those are clearly sugar and uh that's why they like 400 calories but um the Smirnoff Ice Smash, the new one that came out that didn't even, wasn't anywhere on the internet, um, not even on Untapped, the um, Raspberry and Lemonade, that was a bizarre product, but it was more of the sugary thing that I like. Yeah, not good for diet or whatnot, or what have you, but uh, anyway, enough of that. I, I'm going to say, oh, how do you score? These are very difficult. It's, right, it's easy to score like a Stout or an India Pale Ale. Or pale ale or lager, those are easy. But these crazy, crazy quilt products are hard to review and score. You can taste the malty underbody. You can taste that sugar substitute. It's pretty watery. I mean, it's okay. It's good that I have a bad short-term memory as far as like what did I review the other products because um, it doesn't influence my current. A review. I'm going to say it's okay. It's a C, like 77 out of 100. I'm just calling it as I see it. Um, you might look back and say, oh, oh, well, you scored the other one um, this much higher and so forth and therefore and forthwith. And I'm going to say, yeah, but uh, I don't review one in a chain related to the other you know like it has to be consistent it's just what i'm scoring it i'm trying to be accurate and i'm doing the best i can so i'm saying it's okay would i want to drink this again no i will because i have two two more bottles and i know no one's going to want it um but there's a market for this anyway in the market it doesn't matter if i say a c or an a the market's not concerned with it uh 
no, there, here's one thing that's remarkable. That is remarkable, though. Um, some of this got stuck to the side of the glass, and it's leaving red gunk on the side of this etched glass. Now that is the truth. And that red gunk has some body to it. It's not just a reflection. So um, either the the, like I'm thinking theorizing a powdered strawberry substance but it might have gotten re moisturized you know what I'm saying and it's sticking it really is sticking to the side like strawberry pulp like you see inside of a strawberry okay so um, yeah I think it really is natural strawberry it does taste that taste like that uh, anyway so you see my complaint it, that they're not using the real sugar but then you're not gonna get the 100 calories in it alright so lay it Nope. Not gonna let the good times roll with this. Something else, perhaps. I got the Margaritaville variety pack, three flavors. They're all coming out, but that's only 4%. And it doesn't make a claim of 100 calories, but it's gonna have sugar. But anyway, it goes on and on. And um, I'm not praising these products, and I'm not promoting these products, and I'm not even encouraging these products. But they are in a 10 years ago, I would have been attacking these products. And it's, I still have an urge to do that. But um, but anyway, it'd be like saying, I'm going to go after Hawaiian Punch. How dare they sell that? I mean, you know, they sell it. Okay, get over it. So, And I have to get over it. And I am getting over it. And I have gotten over it, I think. So go to Rochester, New York. Scratch that. They don't let you tour the brewery. You can visit the gift shop, which is very nice. And the little showcase brewery, which is, it's okay. But you could drink uh, Genesee 12 Horse Ale on draft, and that's great. Well, yeah, okay, it's worth it. Go there just to drink the 12 Horse Ale on draft, which I did. Thanks for watching this video production.